And turning to the extreme weather on the U.S. continent, taking a deadly toll from the deep south to the northeast. At least nine deaths now blamed on the Arctic conditions. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest. This morning, the record-setting Arctic blast gripping much of the country has turned deadly in the south. At least six people have now died in Tennessee as a result of the extreme conditions. 11 inches of snow falling in Knoxville, wind chills plunging to 15 below zero. In Alabama, ice-covered roads made driving nearly impossible. These cars left stranded after sliding off the road. This tractor-trailer outside Birmingham swerving in all directions before jackknifing into the guardrail. And this truck sliding down a driveway after it was put in park. In Chicago, where it felt like 30 below zero, fires were lit under these train tracks to keep them free of snow and ice. Tesla vehicles were lining up at this charging station in Chicago. Owners say they had trouble charging their batteries in the extreme cold. At least 10 electric cars were reportedly towed from this charging station. In the Rockies, new avalanche warnings in Colorado after a series of deadly snow slides in neighboring states. New video shows the moment Bob Tillotson was rescued from an avalanche in Utah. Rescuers digging through feet of snow, finally saving Tillotson after about 15 minutes. But it appears no one can match Buffalo for snowfall totals. Another three feet of lake effect snow is expected by tomorrow night, on top of the 40 inches that forced the Bills game to be postponed over the weekend. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, fun and games on the National Mall as people enjoyed a rare blast of winter. It's a lot of fun. I've been waiting a long time. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.